Welcome to Gear Vlogs, and my next guests are a couple um, from Florida, um, Ben and Jess. Welcome to uh, the show, um, Ben and Jess. All right. Hi. Thanks for having us on. Good. Let me see. Can I get a little sound level check? I think you're coming in a little low. Can you speak up a little bit? Uh, oh, is that better? If I... Yeah, right there. That's closer, perfect. I... Yeah, that's perfect right there. All right, good. Yeah, just want to get the levels going. Perfect. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, my reason for contacting Ben and Jess was I came across an uh, Instagram post from Team Lethal, and basically over here, these top posts that you see on Ben's page, and what caught my eye was your hood that you have on your car, Ben. <laughs> from, I guess it was... Yeah, uh, that's catching a few people's eyes lately. Yeah, which is, uh, uh, was it CMS tuning, I guess? Uh, CMST. CMST, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. CMS tuning, correct, yeah, yeah. And it turns out, I guess when I went to their website, I guess they're in Russia? Is what oh, I, I... I don't know. I um, I mean, I, I contacted somebody that was in the U.S. when I bought it. Okay, so they, everything they was all a, U.S. based. To, yeah, yeah, they have a local office here, and they shipped from the u.s i mean I, I literally had it within a few days of when i ordered it oh perfect man so it must have been obviously in stock um yeah because i'm actually on their yeah. website right now and it looks like they're having a sale uh which option did you pick on the, i guess they had a couple of different options for the hood uh let's see uh woven was, carbon fiber forged carbon fiber or fpr primered finish mine was the standard Carbon fiber. There was an upgrade, I think, for like one hundred fifty dollars for I think they call it bound. Um, and at that time, I was actually planning to wrap most of the hood and just leave that clear part, of course, exposed. Mm -hmm. But it was such a pretty carbon fiber that, if you'll see on the uh, pictures, I actually chose to keep the lines of the hood of the body that go into the hood. So on the sides, it's wrapped. Yeah. Like the center part, it's uh, got the exposed carbon fiber and that worked out really well. Yeah. And, and so far, I'm pretty happy with this, with this finish. Yeah, definitely. Because, um, well, definitely one of the things I wanted to do is eventually that for channel shop, whatever you want to call it, project build is I definitely want to find myself a S550 to do up. And one of the restyling cues I liked was your style of hood, but then we'll now to find out that somebody made like a, you know, a clear opening pexy glass or glass, tempered glass, you know, visual. Yes, tempered glass. Tempered glass um, portion of it. You know, basically, they're, I guess they mimicked what uh, the ZR1 Corvettes did. So, yeah, and, obviously that was the inspiration. And uh, the CG po CJ Pony parts, um, I think they built this car for SEMA. That was on a uh, on a on a tour, and they actually visited us up in uh, Palm Beach. You know, Jess and I run a big Mustang group called Things of South Florida. We got about three thousand one hundred members, okay. and uh, so we organized a gathering when Bill Tumas came down, and I saw that car, and that was actually a one-off hood, from what I understand, and uh, I was in love with it. And when we saw that, but Jess has actually found it on somebody posted it in another group. And then she sent it to me. She tagged me in it and then texted me because she knew I was looking to do something unique. And I had already, I was already in the process of buying it. It was like a 30 second decision. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah. It's like, it's, uh, and it, it actually compliments. And I guess what we, what we can go next to on your modifications is you went with a Whipple supercharger, obviously. Yeah. What's funny about that Whipple is, you know, my car is originally magnetic gray, and it kind of had a murdered-out look. Mm -hmm. And there was no nothing that you consider blingy on the car. But when I ordered the Whipple, and, you know, you can choose them to powder coat it in whatever color you want, and they have all the factory colors. So I went with the race red. Just when you pop the hood, it would, you know. Pop out And more. I did the valve covers to match. And so I'd already had that done. It was already in there. Then when I saw the soot, I'm like, Oh my God! This couldn't be any more perfect, and and and, and this car has been uh, on its on its latest trend of look, um, meant to be a little bit of a showpiece. Uh, Jess and I are actually in the process of opening a shop um, within the next two months. That's going to do tint and wraps and, and uh, paint protection film, 
ceramic coat, all that good stuff. So I really wanted something to, you know, showcase what we can do. And this was actually one of the first products. We, we did this in conjunction with a good friend of ours that has another shop and is kind of consulting with us. And um, uh, it was a really great first product. But it's really going to, the idea is for it to be a showcase for our business. Yeah, definitely. And also congratulations on the new endeavors. If I if I may, I'm going to give it a plug. It's called Tint House Customs, and the uh, the acronym of that is THC. And if you look on the pictures of my car, I have a race number that says 420. Uh -huh. Then it has the little Australian flag. That's where I'm from, and then it has the THC. Well, that's all meant to tie in with uh, with Tint House Customs. But we thought with the uh, the 420 might get some attention and some shares. So that's mm -hmm. been the whole idea. That's definitely cool, man. That's definitely cool. Uh, like the idea uh, on that aspect, and yeah, definitely. Uh, after after the conversation, you can get me all of your uh, links and socials, and I'll put them in the show descriptions. So I have absolutely, no problem. Absolutely, you know the promoting and you guys. Um, so which thing exactly? You want to talk about the build a bit? Yeah, sure. But I'm, I'm like I'm looking at I'm basically on I guess uh, Lethal Performance's website. So I'm assuming you may have bought gotten your supercharger for them maybe not but which super whipple supercharger did you go with um which the whipple gen 5 the three liter um stage two which gives you the bigger uh, throttle body mm -hmm. and some other good stuff uh, in the kit um i was actually purchased through palm beach dino uh and whipple it's kind of a sponsorship they gave us because okay. they're actually going to be, uh, you know, my wife and I did power adders at the same time. Uh, she ended up going with a Helion uh, twin turbo bottom mount kit, mm -hmm. and I went with the Whipple. So there's been some very interesting, you know, it, we've we've been doing husband versus wife stuff for a little while back when our cars were just bolt on and so forth. Right. And there's quite a few videos of uh, us running each other, and so there's always there's like a, a thread a day somewhere on some group page about which power adder should I get, you know, right. and it's usually ends up with versus turbo is I think the two most popular, you know, all the, there's other good options out there. True. So it was a real tough decision, which power adders we wanted to do. And then, so we both decided to do, you know, me, I like the, the instant hit. She likes the, the top end power and, uh, you know, I get to enjoy power my whip for a little bit. And then she usually comes flying by me at the top. So, you know, <laughs> and you don't have to tell me <laughs> about that. Fun with that. You don't have to tell me about that instant hit. This was like one of my last jobs as a um, technician was to the boss. Uh, as I'm pretty much like on my last day, the boss throws me the keys to a um, Mustang that we had just done a uh, Whipple install. He says, "Here, I need you to do a shakedown run for me." I go, "What?" He goes, right. <laughs> and it's like, "Okay, so we have like a, basically a little." highway test track that we would use and uh yeah talk about uh seat of the pants ride <laughs> yeah absolutely if you want to get into the power numbers a bit too yeah definitely i guess uh the stats that i have here i'm not sure if they've uh how up to date they are but i guess you had it listed around 845 at the rear wheels and 643 torque yeah that's with the um 3.5 uh Pulley and uh, E85. We did the lethal uh, Division X fuel system on both our cars. Okay. It's funny is that when we both did our builds, I thought I'd be fine with just doing the BAP and uh, staying on 93. And, uh, you know, a dyno at 720 just on the base kit with the Palm Beach Dyno Tune. And I was like, oh, man, that's great. And I was like driving around. And then it just took one good friend of mine to pull on me. And that was it. So we uh, we immediately torn back down again and did the fuel systems. We went about E85. Just went from her level one boost, which was like seven pounds, to uh, about 13 and change. So she's uh, she's pushing out 875, uh, 738, 738. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. We and what's nice about her build is that she can switch between level one boost and level four boost at any time and literally on the fly. So her, 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 her build is really, um, user scalable. It's, 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 it's a nice setup. Okay. Um, well not to mix, you know, like, uh, you know, a debate or whatever, but I just a curious question. 
um, because in your neck of the woods, you have VMP uh, in your neck of, in backyard, pretty much. Was there any reason not to choose to go with them, or was it just more of you got a better deal going with Whipple? Just um, listen, you know, uh, uh, Ken Bionis from Palm Beach Dino, mm-hmm. um, we relied so much on his advice on what's the best systems out there. Mm-hmm. And he's, you know, and, and he, listen, they're dynoing some of the fastest cars in the country, like literally every single day. You know, they got people shipping right. the cars from all over. And, you know, we, we rely on his advice. I mean, he's what we consider having a resource of such a great expert. And also at that time, um, you know, Jess was uh, working very closely with him doing PR work. And uh, so she had his ear really every day. Okay. And his two favorite builds are definitely the Whipple and the Helion, and for very good reason. So it's, you know, it's, it's tried and true. Um, you know, our tuner likes working with it, and that's pretty much all we needed to know. Yeah. Okay, that's definitely good to know because, well, well, you guys are on Instagram, and you see all of the Instagram Mustang YouTubers who have Mustangs, and you're seeing what it. And I hate to say it, but there's like a good majority of, of them, I think, are going with the VMP route. But you know, versus Whipple. So. Uh, I, I don't know about that. I think uh, I'd really like to see what those uh, stats are. I mean, there's a the V the VIP VMP three point one has got some buzz because it's new, mm-hmm. and you know, Stang Mode put one on, and he got some really good drag numbers on that. Um, I've I've heard good and bad things, you know, on drivability and people having to get the tunes revised and this, that, and the other. And, uh, so, you know, that, that didn't give me a great comfort level, but the, the drivability of the Whipple is just unreal. I mean, below 3000 RPM, you'd never know it was anything different than a stock Mustang. And, uh, it's just everything, everything comes in great. So, you know, I, I I'm, I'm again, very happy with my choice. Okay. Devin, I'm not actually scrolling through some of my personal pics of your car that I'm showing right, right now on the website. And, I don't know if anyone has ever told you this, but with your latest wrap of, let me see, I'm trying to find it. Uh, the good shot that it uh, can express it um, really well. Uh, let's see if I can get that. Uh, uh, this is getting, uh, okay. But anyway, it's like with the way the camera wrap on the, I guess, certain angles, it almost looks like you have a Shelby wide body kit on it. Has anyone ever told you that? No, but um, I, I love to hear that because it was part of the, I got a very exact, um, aggressive stance on the car. I run 19 by 11 wheels in the back that have a, um, 325 30s on there. Mm-hmm. And I run 305 30s on the front mm-hmm. uh, on a 10 inch wheel. And uh, the offset of the wheels and all that, it just gives it that aggressive stance. And then the, the satin wrap, yeah, I think it just accentuates the body lines. And uh, just definitely, I'm, I'm just blown away how it came out. Yeah, I think here I found the picture I'm going to pull up right now. And uh, give me a second to, uh, uh, God, here we go. And here, yeah, it was like looking, it was, I guess the shot that I did, it looks like it was underneath a bridge angled shot. From your Instagram, yeah, and yeah, that's Jess. Uh, Jess, that's Jess with an iPhone uh, with the what's what the one we have, eleven Pro, mm-hmm. and um, and minor editing. Like literally, she did it with her fingertips in front of me in like two seconds, and that shot came out like a professional. It's incredible, but she's got a really good eye for that stuff. Well, yeah, definitely. Congrats, and also, uh, I hear it was a belated uh, birthday wishes to Jess. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, we uh, we we had a, we had a blast. We chose some of our closest car friends and went out to a, a Brazilian steakhouse and got overloaded. Uh, it was it was an incredible night, and Jess got some good goodies for her birthday. She yeah. got a Stita K member, uh, the lightweight uh, road race one going on there. Oh yeah, um, uh, we'll be talking and, about that uh, a little bit when we get there out to her section of the show and yeah. tell. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm jumping ahead. <laughs> but I had one of my buddies from Steeda with us last night, so I wanted to give him a shout. Okay, don't so, worry. Trust me, we got uh, plenty yeah, of uh, room to share. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, what question on what lethal uh, um, uh, 
performance uh long tube headers did you go with one and three quarters one and seven eighths i have one and seven eighths those are actually um the uh, lth yeah. brand they used to be on jess's car and then uh and i had some smaller headers on mine so we took advantage since hers had to come off anyway uh with the uh turbo install mm-hmm. so i had them uh, jet hot coated and put on my car and um yeah, they're they're awesome headers. I also ran the full LTH uh, two point seven five, I think it is exhaust, the Scorpion kit, okay. all the way out the back. And I and I'm I'm convinced getting rid of the factory system and putting those definitely helped in my power numbers because my numbers are really strong for a Gen two build. And um, I'm couldn't be happy with the with the system. The, the the sound is just inside the car. It's literally quiet. You just get it like kind of a deep sound. It's not obnoxious anymore. It's just, it's absolutely perfect. Perfect. So let me see. Uh, I got some of your like lists. I'm not sure how current it is. Uh, some of your sponsors are the vendors that you use. So you got Team Lethal, uh, Tint House Customs, which is, I guess, you guys. Yeah. Uh, Whipple Superchargers, United yep. Performance Florida, which I guess is who did, I guess, some of your installs and repair go tos. Or is it Palm yeah, Beach? Yeah, that's, that's correct. Yeah. And Palm, yeah, yeah, Palm Beach Dino. Uh, let's see, and uh, uh, McLeod Racing for the clutch. I'm assuming McLeod. McLeod, yeah, sorry. yeah. Uh, let's see, Tit World Carbon or uh, Tit World Boca. But, um, they they uh, did help us with a lot of stuff, and um, and with the, and with the wrap all that. Since we're not pretty much geared up yet, so um, and. Uh, so he's, he's uh, Mike Rogers over there has been a great help. Okay. Definitely, um, you know, we'll definitely have links to their socials, everything in the show notes. So both yours and, and just uh, everybody's. Yeah, we get Steeda. We, we both have a lot of Steeda suspension items. Yeah, definitely. I don't, I don't know if they were in the tags that you're reading there. Yeah, I, I got it. I just didn't get around to it. Uh, okay. And the last one I think it was uh, and- Foster's Mods. Yeah, Foster SC mods, and I don't know if you've seen them, uh, which videos you have, but you'll hear some really nice whining on the side of my car. And that's the uh, the Foster SC mod. They actually make a sound tube that goes from the intake to the cockpit, and it makes it sound like a 0304 Cobra, you know, Terminator sound. So it's a nice mod. I really like it. Okay. Definitely. I may have to do a little more research on that one. That's kind of cool. I yeah. I knew that somebody made something like that. But the the Whipple's not that loud, the wine. So, you know, I, I'm paying that money and I'm going to have a, you know, that kind of blower. I, I want the sound that goes with it. Right. Okay, let's see here. Uh, I guess we should probably move on to the significant other scar, so we're not talking yeah. about it. <laughs> <laughs> I just so uh, I got a picture of your car like on the day the first pics I'm showing here is uh the day of when you picked up your car and how it looks now of the tail end. Oh, the before and after. Yep. So yeah, she's changed a lot. Definitely, it's like uh, so. How long have you had the car for since day one? Um, I got it in 2016 17. or 17. 17. Yeah, November of 17. So I've had it for quite quite a few years now. It only had like 11,000 miles on it when we bought it? Yeah, it had one previous owner, 11,000 miles. I actually woke Ben up in the middle of the night because I had found an ad for the car on Craigslist, I think it was. Yeah. And I woke him up at 3 o'clock in the morning. I was like, i got to go see this car. And um, he's like, oh, don't get your hopes up. It's probably got a... Rebuilt title. Yeah, rebuilt title. Yeah. So we went down and test drove it. I fell in love with it immediately. Um, my previous car was a V6 that I was trading in for it. Um, but I also had a Terminator and a 96. So I was dying to finally get into a Coyote. And I fell in love with it. And we sat down with the gentleman at the dealer. And he told us, like, 29995 out the door. And I was like, what? 
like, where are the papers? Let me sign them right now. Oh. And Ben was like, wait a second, that's not right. And I was like, hey, could be quiet. Let me just sign the papers. Well, what had happened was <laughs> that they took it in as a trade, and they only ran the VIN number as a premium from Ford GT. as a premium GT. Yeah. So whoever traded in got ripped off and only got money for a GT, and it was missing the supplement sticker, which brought the price from, like, a $34,000 new to 52000 so we basically got a fifty-two thousand dollar car for, for the price 29. of uh, for, yeah. for 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 twenty-nine because they had no idea what they had. It was insane. Well, we yeah, think the salesman lucky. got fired because uh, <laughs> he placed the ad himself on. It wasn't even the dealer. He placed the ad himself on Craigslist, and um, so we we were trading her her V six car, which was actually in the body shop, getting a, a little he had a little fender bender on her bumper. So we said, oh, but we, we want to trade this car, but we can't do it today because it's at a grandmother's house in Naples, which was, you know, whatever. And so we did all the, they, they gave us a number on it, sight unseed. We did all the contracts, signed all the papers. I came back about four or five days later with the car to give it to them. And then they were looking and then there was, I see arms waving and all this stuff going on. Like, I guess they realized they made not the best deal for themselves. And, but everything was signed and everything was done and there was nothing they could do and we're the happy owner of a nice Roush. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you got to love that when that happens. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like I've had a long um, love affair with the Roushes. Back in the day when there used to be message board forums, I had a good friend of mine out here on the West Coast who uh, started up a user enthusiast Roush mission board and... Uh, he ran it, and we used to have a lot of, uh, put on a lot of events. Like uh, one year, the uh, the group found out that I was going to SEMA, and uh, they asked me, hey, can you get us in? And because at that particular year, Jack Roush was uh, giving the award, morning award banquets, breakfast banquet speech. And so they all of the members wanted to go there and attend to see it. And I said, I'll see what I can do. Got the group, and then the, my friend who was the message board founder was also good friends with Jack. So did a whole group picture, all that fun stuff. So, yeah, we've always uh, been like an unofficial, I guess, Roush message board forum before they started it. All that fun stuff. So, yeah, nice. we got to hear all sorts of neat stuff, um, you know, from Roush. And uh, it's like a... If, uh, I'm not sure if you ever seen like the Roush toolkits in the trunks, and you yeah. Know, oh yeah, yeah, that's an option, yeah. right? Yeah, well, if you look in the didn't have it, unfortunately. Yeah, well, if you ever looked at looked at one or seen one, they include like a challenge coin, and uh, before he even started doing that, he hands you know my buddy one of the challenge coins for all of his support for him. So it was like it was a kind of cool thing that he wow. uh, got, but uh, yeah, it's amazing that well, cool. with all the stuff that he does, I. And his uh, near death misses that he uh, still around with us. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Oh yeah, there's a uh, found one picture in here. You got to tell me about. Uh, don't know if it's an old picture or not, but uh, you have one other child in your uh, family. Oh yeah, we do. <laughs> so when no, but he's talking about the truck. Yep. The truck? Yeah. Oh, so, okay, yeah. <laughs> um, when I decided, when Ken, actually from Palm Beach Sino, convinced me to go the bottom mount route with my turbos, um, living in South Florida, we tend to get a lot of rain and flooding, and I, I just didn't want to have the trouble and the stress of daily driving my car anymore. So, mm. actually, I was at work looking for, <laughs> on some downtime, looking for another vehicle. Um, I had found actually a 2020 GT 500 that I wanted to get, but Ben was telling me I was being highly impractical and practical. Yeah. So I was like, man, what else can I get? That's super cool. That I can daily drive that Ben won't get mad at me for if I go by right now. I was like, I'm going to get me a coyote truck. So I started looking around and there was only one red one in the whole United States. That was a single cab short bed coyote in red. And it was in Texas. Four, four, yeah. Yeah. So we gave the guy a call, pretty much bought it sight unseen. It was at a Ford dealer in Texas, used with like 20,000 miles on it. 
one owner, again, got lucky with that. Um, so it was about two days later after we kind of virtually signed paperwork on the phone um, that we flew up there, made a trip out of it, and drove the truck back home. Yeah. So now that, I mean, within a week, that thing was dropped with Belgians on it and tuned by Ken at PBD. Had to lead full uh, everything. Lightning, lightning style exhaust. Yeah. Um, E85 tune. I think that might have been the fastest I've ever modded a car. We had it for like a week. Well, we had all these parts. We bought parts. You, while I'm driving yeah. from Texas, <laughs> you were on Amazon and every other lethal and everybody buying. We had like a, a whole bunch of packages waiting for we got back. And we literally get back from the trip and she's already out in the garage bolting the new grill on and <laughs> everything else and taking off the badges and... Yeah, that thing was like modded in like twenty four hours. It's fun. It's pretty fast. Yeah, truck, but I, I really enjoy daily driving. Well, let's just say a three ninety two Challenger can't or Charger can't outrun it, which is pretty fun. Well, everything you've done to it, I like it. <laughs> really? Everything you've done on that truck, is like, yeah, I like it. <laughs> Definitely approved. It's like <laughs> if I had the opportunity to get a. Uh, F1, a new F-150, yeah, I think I'd be doing those same mods that you did. <laughs> Thank you. And don't be surprised if you see uh, another bright red Whipple sitting under there soon. So, well. Yeah, there's little things here and there we want to do. Change out the headlights, the taillights, throw a Whipple on it. You know, like, but there's too many project cars at once, so we're trying to finish ours before and get, get the shop the open. Mm, definitely. Uh, so, but you now let's go back to your original baby. I guess I'm looking at an interior shot of your uh, your car. I guess you it's from the door, driver's side door, looking in, and I'm like going, very nice shot. Now, are the seats? Did they come with the car? The Recaro seats come with the car, or were they added on afterwards? They came with the car. It was an upgradable option, so I'm I'm glad the previous owner selected that. Yeah, I'm like going. Yeah, that's definitely. I'm like going. Okay, it's like that's the thing. I I knew it was an option, but I thought that uh, the Recaros the if you order the option from Ford, I didn't think that they let they provided the Recaro stitching in the headrest. So that made me think that was aftermarket. You know, but yeah, same like that. Actually, the factory Recaros um, say Recaro on them, but if you buy them from Ford aftermarket, they say Ford oh, Racing on them. I'm sorry, Ford, Ford Performance. Performance. Yeah. Okay, so that's where I'm uh, losing all my mind. Okay, cool, cool. So basically, on yours, you had the Hellion turbos, the twin turbos underneath, lethal. Uh, fuel system with V85 and I'm trying to find one shot of the car let me um, okay we're there let's see if I here we go this is what I want to show here we go you also added a turbo smart gauge to your I guess your center Console vent assembly, I guess. And has that? Yeah, we eliminated the center, the center vent, and just added the the eBoost two controller. Okay, and how do are you liking that? Is it uh, living up to its? Uh... Oh my god! Is that even a question? <laughs> that thing is, it's it's awesome because I can just turn on the car and cruise around town. You know, I have four settings right now, four modes on the car. Um, for power levels and it's just at the touch of a button that can be at 700 to the wheels or 900 to the wheels so it's it's really really fun to just be able to have that at your hands you can just change it whenever you want okay so is it like instantaneously or does it take time to load up or is it uh no i'll post a video for you later if you like on my instagram but um it's literally you just touch the button and that's it you can do it okay. on the fly while yeah, you're in Yeah, that, that is that too. If, you, if you're running somebody and you're in setting one or two in the middle of your run, you can just tap the button up to three or four and that's it. It's, it's, 
it, it adjusts yeah. itself. You can take off from a light in first gear and keep it at the lower setting, get the car hooked up, and then literally just increase the boost while you're, while you're on it. It's amazing. It's a very nice setup. I'm happy with it. Cool. Actually, and she blew away an STI, by the way. <laughs> cool. So as you as was mentioned earlier, I guess uh, you just got a new Steeda K member. Yes, for my birthday. Yeah, I'm looking at a picture of it hanging on a uh, powder coating rack right now. <laughs> yeah, they... Steeda doesn't really like to paint their stuff red due to a competitor's colors, but um, they did it for me um, knowing... They always take really good care of us, and um, they knew I love red and that it would look really good under the car, so they did mine in red for me. Um so I'm really excited to get that yeah. on the car. It should be on probably in the next two, three weeks. And yeah, and and I, then I had to copy her and do the same. So, so you're gonna go with red also, or you're gonna go with? Uh... Yeah, I did it with red. My whipple's red and all that. So just kind of keep that theme. Okay. They were making mine red as a surprise for me for my birthday. Yeah. But I was kind of like, no, no, don't, don't add any more weight to it. <laughs> yeah, but it has to be painted. It's I know. Good. Gonna corrode. Yeah. They're like, it's not even gonna add anything more than like an ounce. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I can't wait. Okay. Uh, let's go. Let me pull up your list here, and <laughs> let's see. I think we talked about we got Lethal or uh, United Performance has done a lot of work. You got Steeda Autosports for your um, suspension, and lots yeah. of parts. Also, obviously, Team Lethal Hellion Turbo. Turbonaut, tur- Turbonetics. Turbonetics, thank you. Turbo Smarts, uh, Divix Performance. And Who is that? I think Divix Performance. Division yeah. X, right? Division yeah. X. Yeah, that's part of the diesel fuel system. Okay. Yeah, they make um, really nice fuel rails and all that kind of stuff. Okay. Uh, let's see who else we got. Uh, MGW shifter. Uh, yes. Boundary pumps. Yeah, there we have. Um, we both have uh, boundary OPGs and crank sprocket in our build. Okay. Everything else inside the motors are stock. Okay. Uh, let's see. Then we got McLeod Racing. So that's their clutch. Uh, injector dynamics. And drive shaft shop. So, aluminum drive shaft or all steel drive shaft? No, I actually have um, the stock drive shaft, and I have um, from DSS the two thousand horsepower rated um, half shafts. Okay. Yeah, okay. they make half shafts as well. Cool. Definitely. I didn't want to be caught with my R triple A Rs at a drive strip with. And then, you know, hooked so well that I break my, my axles. So I just went ahead and upgraded it. Okay. Uh, let's see. You want to talk? Uh, uh, you said Palm Beach. Uh, okay, okay. Palm Beach Dino does Probably your tuning. Uh, your, the tuner was Ken, I believe? Yeah. Okay. Um, looks like also uh, from I saw in your... Instagram feeds. He's like, a, I guess, a little bit of a, a jack of all trades too, because I guess there was a shot of him um, doing some photography work. I guess <laughs> on one of your yeah, he's big on that. He's, he was actually uh, uh, like a videographer before he got into tuning. Okay. Yeah, I'm pulling up a picture of him. I guess this blue GT500 is his. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's a pretty famous car right now. Okay. Definitely in the top 10 fastest in the country. Actually, if you follow their YouTube as well, the Palm Beach Dino YouTube, you can see the, the whole development of the car. And he does a lot of research and development on new parts that are being put out for the GT500. And actually, he's involved in developing parts for that car. And um, he's got... And hundreds and hundreds of hours of research and development and tuning that thing. So if you guys are interested in, in seeing that, um, just head on over to his page, Palm Beach Dino. 
yeah, or if you ever want to do your own uh, vlog thing like you're doing for us with him, we can we can uh, definitely make that introduction. Oh yeah, definitely. I definitely am always looking for new guests to come on and you know for my for me to promote. That's like because of the all the lockdown and stuff. It used to be I'd be able to go out to events and you know find content to be able to talk about, but yeah, well, that's sure how it is on he, you he guys. Was... But I got a governor who wants to keep me locked up in my house. So go figure there. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's a whole nother, that could be a whole nother segment. Um, yeah. Tell me <laughs> about it. Different... <laughs> but, uh, Ken was actually out in your neck of the woods not too long ago. Uh, Kenny Bell is one of the people that he works with and they did a, um, they did an install on a new GD 500 and, and, uh, he was helping get that thing all sorted out. Yeah, definitely. I, I've, uh, and like I said, past shop lives, if you want to call it that. I've had dealings with pretty much all of the, the guys, Kenny Bell, Whipple, uh, Vortec, Paxton. Not VM, VMP, though, so... Oh, well. As I, like, after I left, um, my connections. But, uh, yeah, you get to uh, know everybody on a first-name basis when you're ordering parts from the various vendors. Yeah, uh, yeah it's great. It's really small world in this in this community. Exactly. And that's what I kind of love about it. It's like, you know, definitely have fun. Yeah. I found a great shot of here again, I guess with a laptop in his lap, uh, and in your car, in your car test tuning, I guess, Jess. <laughs> so that's a good shot. Yeah. He's a, he's a genius. Uh, since, uh, we are bringing up about YouTube channels. I'm pulling up your guys' YouTube channel, and you guys are known on YouTube as the Coyote Couple. Yeah. Um, we only have like 12 <laughs> followers. Yeah, no, no, we got more than that. <laughs> <laughs> At least 13. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, our, our first couple of ones are a little bit embarrassing. We kind of learned as we went along, but there's some fun ones in there, especially the probably the biggest one was one one when uh, Jess went, uh, when her car was just pulled bolt on and she went roll racing, I forget what episode that was, but she just beat up on guys the whole night, one after the other. And, uh, yeah, that one, that one was pretty popular. And plus it was, uh, everyone's always talking about which intake is best. And she basically raced every combination there was. And, you know, we, we're big fans of the GT350 intake. So it was, uh, it was, it was great. I don't know. Um, I don't care what dinos say, you know, it's how these things perform. And, and that was a great example of, uh, of that package. Yeah, definitely. Well, if, uh, you want to try some experimenting, I know I've been doing it, but uh, YouTube is experimenting with, uh, I guess, trying to follow what Instagram has been doing with, um, vertical short content. So if you basically, Interesting. If, if you want to uh, try to build up a following base, at least I got a friend of mine who's been documenting it, doing it for about three months, and he's been getting subscriber growth through the roof with his short content, basically under a minute type content. So I guess YouTube is wow. They're experimenting with between fifteen seconds to one minute clips. Um, right now they're doing it in, I guess testing it in India, but he kind of got wind of it and he started doing it. And it's like a page that, you know, that he's been uploading the small content. He's like, like at 7,900 subscribers right now. And with like 5 million views. Yeah. So that's good to know. Cause I mean, the biggest thing why we didn't, I don't want to say not stick with, uh, with this. I mean, we got, you know, we got a break side in the beginning, but I mean, then we saw, how much planning, how much editing it was. And, uh, you know, we both have full-time careers. Right. And it just, you know, uh, it, it was just very difficult. Plus, you you know, you want they want you to have a certain amount of minutes to get the commercials and there's no cursing and all this stuff. So that's kind of great to hear about uh, that there's a trend for, for the short stuff. Yep, uh, definitely. And uh, I can email you the Google article, how to help article link. I'll text it to you after the uh, show and you guys can read up on it but um we'd love to yeah. thank you mario yeah that definitely you know i've been doing this now for a while now and you have friends or 
have way higher numbers than me, and obviously they're doing something right. So it's like, mm -mm, okay, yeah. <laughs> what am I doing wrong? <laughs> right. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. Uh, let's see. I'm not sure if this is you guys or somebody or a friend of yours. I came up or I found the link. Broke Axle Designs? Yeah, that's... um. That's a uh, e-commerce site that I own. We we'll have some Mustang design T-shirts and so forth. Uh, just kind of getting that going right now. Okay. So definitely that'll be in the uh, link description. Obviously, you got that pulling up for everyone to check out. And yeah, I was, um, you know, I, I established it during COVID, and was pushing it a lot during then since there was so much uh, home time when we were under quarantine and all that. Right. And it was getting traction. Um, you know, I've got a lot to learn about e-commerce marketing, but I just hired a specialist literally yesterday who's going to get it, you know, more into Google shop and all that stuff. So hopefully this, uh, this second round of kind of doing it right and spending my money the right way, we'll start to see some good traction, but all our local group, they all love the designs. And most of all my customers were our own, our own people in South Florida that are in our, you know, in our group and so forth. Well, that's like, you hit like the nail on the head right there. That's the the best way to um, to do it because yeah, I tried my bit doing the merch stuff for the channel, but obviously, I my taste and my artistic uh, abilities aren't as good as uh, other people. So yeah, not everyone sees things the way that you think they're going to see them. You know, and that's that's very humbling sometimes. Yeah, we you know we figured out what the popular designs were, so I know what to push. You know, there's one that like everyone talks about. You know, taking you to Gapplebee's when they're talking about racing. Mm -hmm. So I did a Gapplebee's one. Jess came actually; she came up with that one. And then uh, Gapperoni's Pizza, and uh, we have another one. Um, got Gap Insurance. Yep. That's kind of style like that progressive thing. And it says one eight hundred Coyote on it. Yep. And we got other one, uh, Gigs Only, and I don't know. There's a couple of really fun designs in there. Yeah, definitely. It's like uh, when the uh... Next uh, AdSense check shows up. I think I'll be ordering some of your shirts. <laughs> <laughs> that would be great. Uh, yeah. Uh, let's see. Uh, got United Performance. I got their YouTube channel up. Giving them a shout out. You know, for in yeah, their absolutely. Broadcast. That's uh, Sean Harmon and his lead mechanic Royce. Uh, great people. Um, they've been a great supporters of the site. And uh, they really, really wanted our business, and they treated us very well, and um, been very, 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 uh, very good, very consistent. Definitely, it's like you know, that's the whole thing. It's like you know, if you have a a shop or a business that is treating you right, it's you know, you should definitely talk them up because. You've been in business. I'm, I've been in business. It's like you always hear 10 times more negative than you do the positives, you know? Yeah. And it was very hard for us because running the uh, Mustang group, we have about five or six shops um, that we, you know, we, we kind of approve and promote. Mm -hmm. And they're all good people. Um, and it was very hard to choose somebody when you're friends with all of them. Right. And, you know, uh, and we start off with United. Uh, they did the um, suspension on the truck. They did the drop kit. And uh, then they just really made us an offer we couldn't refuse on the uh, on the, on the the two other builds. So, uh, you know, we're very appreciative of that. Definitely. And let's see. I got Team Lethal. I got their Instagram page up right now, you know, Showing their stuff. Yes. And... Eagle's been great. You know, they're in our backyard. Um, they're also big supporters. You know, our club, we do an annual event called the Patriot Run, which just passed uh, less than a month ago. we um, been doing that for 17 years in honor of 9-11. Mm -hmm. That's how it really first evolved. And it's a big Mustang cruise that goes into the Florida Keys. We have like 30 police motorcycles escorting us. Um, we raise money for a um, foundation called Live to Tell. And uh, all these shops I mentioned, you know, they all donate lethal and everybody uh, donates uh, really great raffle prizes. And that's how we raise our money uh, for this foundation. So we a lot, a lot of good supporters. Yeah, and that's definitely good when, you, when you're looking for, you know, 
you know, between the time and event that it's good that companies, even though the, I'm assuming they're being affected by everything that was going on and them to still be able to, you know, make donations is definitely a plus side, you know. Yeah, they've all been great partners. Steve has been a title sponsor for like 17 years. And, and believe it or not, despite uh, from everyone we're, see- thing we're seeing, despite COVID and all that, they've all been doing really, really well. Um, I guess, you know, between stimulus, when people were stuck home, they, you know, had time to do things and all that. And um, at least in South Florida, we've, we've seen that everybody's uh, been doing doing really well. Yeah. Definitely on that, and that's well. That's the thing is like like without I'm here in California, and you know, every we, we all thought that okay, it's gonna be great. We're gonna you know you know start to turning it around, and then they throw this onto us where you know here in my county alone, if I leave my county in a 150 mile radius, I have to quarantine myself for 14 days. Jesus. Yeah. Uh, and then you start uh, seeing all that stuff. But, oh, that's, it gets yeah, too depressing, but, and I I want this to be uplifting. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. I get it. Yeah, God bless you. Yeah. Um, so I got uh, pulled up your Instagram page up for the new business shop. So got that going on. And definitely I love what you're doing with your car. So Thank how you. soon till you going to be officially opened? About another two months? Or... Uh, yeah, the, the, the build-out will be completed uh, the end of January. So February is going to be the realistic uh, kind of grand opening. Um, the, the, uh, the garage portion will be done a little bit sooner, but depending how much the build-out of the showroom interferes with that is whether we can start taking work in January. We already have a lot of people lined up that want to do things. So that part's pretty exciting. Well, for rap, I'm not sure. Uh, it's like it's been a few years for me since on rap helping like our, you know, clear bra, clear car coating when back yeah. in the day when I was wrenching. Uh, were you anticipating needing a car lift for doing wraps or? Yeah. So you are. Yeah, we will. We'll, we'll, we'll be having uh, probably a scissor lift to start and um, maybe add something. Uh, different later. Gotcha. Yeah, I can definitely uh, remember like, the gentleman who I had a big relation with. He would definitely uh, would call me when he was wrapping in weed. He'd say, can you get it racked up for me? I go, sure, rack the car up for him. How do you operate it? I go, okay, how far up you want to go? You know, up and down, all that fun stuff. Oh, uh, you know, but uh, Well, it's just, you know, getting in some of those tight spots to make sure everything. It's like... The one thing I liked about yeah. him was he didn't use like the like there are some rap companies out there who would use the pre printed cut or pre laser cut you know kits. He did everything freehand, right. and right, and it just blew me away. Like some of the stuff that he was able to do with what he was able to do, <laughs> and I'm like, you know, it's like well, yeah, my bro was definitely a great learning experience. Uh, um, just did a nice portion of it um, t- together with the other guys with, uh, with, with, with Mike's team. And uh, definitely, and camo is not an easy wrap because you have to try to match the patterns as much as you can. And um, it, it was definitely a great learning experience. Now, I was curious about the wrap. Now, was it printed in camo or did you actually layer all the different colors? Or There's two ways of doing that. One is like you were talking about where they actually layer. Mm-hmm. Um, this one, this one is, uh, it's a brand Avery Dennison, which is one of the top vinyls mm-hmm. you can buy. And, uh, it comes just in one big roll. Mm-hmm. And, uh, we, um, but it's a, you know, we really like the, uh, the satin finish on it. Mm-hmm. And so, yeah, it was just literally one big roll cut out, you know, in, in different panels, um, for the vehicle. Okay. Yeah, definitely. It's like, uh. You know, it's like a, it's like I was impressed like how they do it, and I guess like one of the issues, but maybe you didn't run into it, but back in the day, it was like the manufacturers of the vinyls, I guess, didn't make them wide enough on some instances where, like, being able on certain cars, doing a hood would be difficult or something along those lines. 
but I guess it's uh, yeah. come a long way since. Yeah, the hardest part is the bumpers. That's that's the most challenging because you have so many different angles and little pieces, and then getting it all to match up and all that. That car was done in was it three or four days? Mm-hmm. It, was, it was three days, basically from eight a.m. to ten p.m. <laughs> uh, uh, three days in a row because it was a rush to get it ready for uh, for this event we had coming up for the for the Patriot Run. So, um, yeah, they kicked out there. It came out real nice. Cool. Okay. Um, I think that pretty much wraps up everything I could think of. If there's anything else you would like to promote uh, that we maybe didn't cover. No, just to offer for any anybody that listens that's in South Florida, we'd love you to join our group, um, Stanks of South Florida on Facebook. It has some Instagram presence, but when we, we gotta we gotta increase that. So um, most related to Facebook, we do a lot of uh, events and fun stuff together. And then um, hopefully we'll get our channel going again, uh, especially now with the um, with the shop opening up. We're real looking forward to this being like a, almost like a mini you know, pit my ride. I mean, Jess and I have built several cars with, um, I, I, this is my 14th or 15th Mustang. Um, I, what I, we both have a knack for, and I think an eye for style and we really look forward to helping people, you know, maybe help along with the vision for their car and, you know, just little tricks to, to make it stand out. That's what we're probably most excited about and possibly living, leaving careers that, we've been a part of and been very passionate about for a long time uh, in order to make this happen. So it's exciting. I wish you guys both the best of luck on that aspect, because I know those fears that you're talking about. I've been there, have lived them, went through them. And um, it sounds like you got, (laughs) yeah, exactly. Um, But yeah. Cool. Um, I think that's about it. Uh, okay. Let's see here. Uh, we'll check my, my little checklist here. Uh, do you want to uh, tell people where they can find you uh, if they're listening now, if they don't want to bother clicking on the show notes? Uh, um, it already has an Instagram and a Facebook page, which is uh, Tint House Customs. Okay. So that's probably this way right now. Okay. Or actually, you can contact me personally uh, um, at Deadpool Roush. Because okay. that's where I'm most active for right yeah. now until we get started. Um, if you have any questions or concerns or want to get your stuff done with us. Yeah, and my, my personal Instagram, I just I just changed the name actually to uh, uh, Camo Shadow 402. Okay, I'm, yeah, I'm showing them right now. I'm sorry, 420. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, showing uh, both your Camo 420 page. I got Jess's page now showing yeah. up. So if anybody's watching this on YouTube, they'll uh, visually be able to see it. Um, but like I said, when it also goes on to uh, Spotify, I'll have it, all your links in the uh, show notes, so they'll be able to find you there, as well as uh, Tint House Customs. So, cool. Awesome. So is that where we find, where do we find your other pieces you've done um pretty much you could probably find me uh my youtube channel just gear vlogs on youtube okay and obviously you see me on instagram um right and then if you go to actually gearvlogs.com you could go to my official website and you can see where i haven't updated my latest videos yet but i'll be uploading a. I got a series i've been pulling up uh building up videos and interviews so i got some interviews with uh um autometer magnus and superchargers um working with uh trying to get chevy performance and uh ford motor company to uh schedule interviews with them so hopefully in the next couple of weeks i'll have uh, a series of videos uh interviews with them and what they have coming out and all that fun stuff so Good things for That'd everyone, cool. you know, to find. So uh, nice. Yeah. Well, we'll uh, we'll be sure to um, get on to YouTube and uh, do some catching up on your stuff. Definitely appreciate that. Okay, oh, everyone. Appreciate you. Uh, be sure to give these uh, folks a uh, check out their uh, socials, check out their channels, um, give them a follow, give them a like, share their content out because I sure do, and. Um, 
Until next time, folks, see ya.